Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Victoria 3. Sorry for the delayed start. I had to take hey. care of some dogs, and then this one wanted to go play with some cute trains. So he played with some cute trains. It's not my fault. You didn't warn me. Also, I don't know if... It's not my fault. I got dropped. To the, I, I had the dogs be taking care of the dogs being dropped on me at the last second. Damn you, game audio. Why do you not want to <laughs> register the new game? It's anyway, we're back in Victoria this. 3 once again. Glorious Victoria 3. Display capture. No, I need audio capture. Where is it? There. Come on. You know you want to see Vic- <laughs> Yes, I know it will be removed. Just let me, let me... Let me create an, a new one. What? No, what? Application, please. There. Ah, always the same with this. So hi, hey, we're back. Hello. <laughs> Victoria. Yes, that is a thing. <sighs> These technical difficulties, I swear. Got to love them, or Wait. hate them, or hate them and love them. Hate them in one I'm of the I'm smart, two. I had muted myself. Doesn't matter, the only thing I did was ramble about the audio capture not wanting to work as per usual. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway. Uh... Once again, sorry everybody for how yesterday's stream ended, where I just... <laughs> the, the, the other game that we planned to do to compare the two decided that it didn't want to even exist. That game is no longer on my PC. <laughs> I have uninstalled it because, Jesus Christ, it was just getting really annoying. Someone got mad. Someone got salty. Ow. My body. It hurts all over. Stop doing that. It's not good for you your health. I think I'd <laughs> I, this, It's my muscles that are sore. What are you talking about? But about half the day just cleaning this damn floor. <laughs> Why were you cleaning the floor? No, in, in the case of this entire floor of the building. Oh. Not just the floor. Why, I, why would I spend four hours... No! <laughs> With all the respect, if I'd be that inefficient... <laughs> that i just buy a Roomba at that point. <laughs> <laughs> You might buy one anyway, though. Stick a moth on it, or a butterfly, and just watch it go around. <laughs> no, I actually kind of just like having... If, if, if I buy such items, I tend to like having them as they are. There we go. I'm in. I don't like... Mm, Is this why you were so the against design. the time when people were sticking landmines and stuff to their Roombas? <laughs> no, that's just, that's, that's just wrong! <laughs> why would you do that? Soviet anti-tank doggos be like, are we a joke to you? <laughs> I, this, 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 I don't, I feel bad for the dogs too. But Rufa is small and round and friend-shaped. I'm finally, 
I'm finally upgrading to laissez-faire. We're why doing would you, it. Why would you put a claymore on a Roomba? It's just being nice and helping you and you... This is how you repay it. <laughs> it, just, it just wants to clean. That is all it, it, it craves. This is how you repay my honorable service to this empire. <laughs> it's, I don't get it. Still building no, a railway in Panama. What I also don't like is social so, social banditry. The people in West in Virginia tell the story of a of a highwayman who robs from the rich and gives to the poor. <laughs> <laughs> the legend is spreading quickly throughout the United States of America, damaging support for per capita taxation law. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Seriously? I can't- What? <laughs> Robin Hood? No! <laughs> he's- He's so dashing. Even as he stole the pearls from around my neck, I couldn't help but feel flustered. He fed a single red rose upon my lap as he vanished into the night with a flourish of his- And we're immediately out of sync. <laughs> How? <laughs> I How? don't know. Saving. <laughs> that what? Oh, we're off to a great start, aren't we? Yeah, it's a very great start. It it's it's been five minutes. It's not <laughs> even been five minutes. Six minutes, actually. Oh, almost started a brand new save. That would have been awkward. With all the respect, we're not starting a new. Yeah. Not anytime soon. Maybe in the future, but not 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 anytime soon. Not not until we're done Stellaris. <laughs> that depends on if this game ever gets more stable. I or oh, by the way, I already bought the uh, new. Oh yeah, I forgot. France is in a civil war. <laughs> How can you forget? H How can you forget? This is an interesting war because the French Commune got pretty much all of France's conscripts, whereas the uh, bourgeoisie got basically all of France's military. I feel like the... They even got the majority of the navy. The Commune would win that, no? If they uh, got the, ar the actual army. They have the... Con no, the uh, bourgeoisie got the uh, army. The Commune got the conscripts. <laughs> oh, okay. So they have, yeah. They they've got that them outnumbered, sense. but they have, but the most of their military might is uh, conscripts. <laughs> also, their navy is outgunned by the uh, bourgeoisie. Also, their GDP, even though like they own more of the empire, is like complete garbage compared to the bourgeoisie. <laughs> This will be this will be interesting to watch. It's a council of public versus the atheists. <laughs> I find this amusing. <laughs> it's the communists versus atheists. It's clear that uh, the communists weren't uh, were too religious for their taste. <laughs> I'm surprised Norway and Sweden are still a thing. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know, usually they break up by now. Usually they break up and go their own separate ways, but no, they, they're still dating. <laughs> Excuse me, what? This is not Hitaria. <laughs> and if it were, Prussia would be the best one. <laughs> He's just so flamboyant. <laughs> I don't know. This game, Prussia, has been a very democratic country that's been struggling to figure out how to win all of Germany. This okay, right, Bavaria yeah. is going to be the one to unite Germany. That's going to be weird. 
so keep do forgetting do that I Bavaria think... owns Tyrol now. <laughs> and that's why Austria just looks so slightly off whenever you look at it. Relieve poverty in, Vi in Virginia. The police will make an example of the bandit. It's a 50-50 chance. The other things are all negatives or a 33-33-33 chance. And that in that <laughs> in that one there's a minus 20% chance. No, police. Call in the police. Uh, Spain has established an interest in Mexico. Okay. Maybe I can hire them to help me beat Mexico. <laughs> I, you, you, do you remember what we did last time to them? In the Central American expedition to France definitely remembers what we did last time. <laughs> but still, an army is an army. <laughs> I can form a defensive pact with Colombia. That could be a smart move. Do you think join France in their war or the French commune in their war? Sweden has also declared an interest in Mexico. Let's see. Who's on whose side in this war? Nobody. Nobody has joined either side. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody joined either side in this war. Luxembourg could have joined this war. <laughs> I don't know why. They like the bourgeoisie more than the communists. That makes sense. After all, they're a military junta. Everybody except for uh, the Marina Kingdom likes the bourgeoisie more than the communists. Where even is the Marina Kingdom? So, uh, Who I even are you? Oh, you're you're Madagascar. <laughs> Why does Madagascar have an opinion on this? <laughs> Consumer-based taxation. Hold on, that can actually save me. Oh, but the, I have to wait You mean the taxation when? you had before you had to change your taxation? <laughs> no, I had... I didn't have consumer base, I had per capita. Why can you intervene in a British war? I don't Australian know. religious revolt. You, you should maybe make... You should maybe lower your mic down a little. You're peaking it. Sorry. <laughs> this is pretty funny, though. <laughs> The Australian religious cults are mobilizing against the Republic. <laughs> uh, the industrialists have started complaining about the existence of substance from in Oklahoma. Yeah. Wait, we still need rubber. Oh, by uh, the way, I'm still I I am still taking Panama from you later. You're not getting Panama. Not without the getting... not without the thing. You only get the canal. That was the only part of the deal. You aren't taking the state. I'm getting Panama. We've been over this. <laughs> yes. I've made my point very clear. I've made my point very clear. Ooh, we're passively researching elect electrical electric generation. Yes. <laughs> Who needs combustion engine if you have electric trains? They are the superior mode of transportation. Even if steam trains are cooler. Turbine. 
arc welding, yeah, that's for ships. Flash freezing, dough rollers, posterization. What do radios radios do? Uh, they allow for better communication. No, like I mean, radio radios, not communication radios. What? <laughs> Music radios. Oh, I think I think they just give you prestige, and that's about it. Mm. And the communists really hate me. <laughs> I wonder why. This is why I get for having an educated population. <laughs> Gosh darn it! They've become too smart. <laughs> Man, Valeria pre presentation is really far down. Yeah, it is. I don't know why it is, because it's honestly one of the only reasons that the AI doesn't really colonize all that quickly. Mm. Yeah, because most of the planet you're just stuck with malaria. You can't even colonize, colonize it just because of malaria. Oh yeah, I forgot. Britain's already at war with the uh, French. That's why they aren't intervening. <laughs> They're already in a war with the French. <laughs> and honestly, kind of losing. <laughs> I lost a military leader. Ulysses uh, Grant is still alive? Damn. And he's lived a while. He was supposed to be a president. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was supposed to be a couple <laughs> presidents. <laughs> there was some, uh, I don't even know who President Cephas Bodiz is. Uh, me is he, neither. Is he an actual historical figure? No. He's a shrewd opportunist. That would probably explain why he's still in power. And also the I've fact that the human fire farmers have been the only people in the government. I, I know. I've been trying to get them out for so long. I've been trying to boost the trade unions for <laughs> years now, and they're still at 1.6%. I just can't get them out. I just can't get them into office. Well, at least once I get this railway built in Panama, and Panama will have Wait. better infrastructure. Consumption-based tax is what we have currently. We need to get rid of that. But that is what the goddamn communists, the trade unions, love. <laughs> Do you not have any other laws you'd like to push, you know, like child labor laws or something like that? Not unless you plan on uh, getting human rights. <laughs> I uh, don't I have human rights? Have you not researched human rights yet? I don't know. <laughs> That's on the social, right? Yeah. Society. We live in a society. I'll get that get that meme out of there. Um Where is it? It's just above feminism. It's a tier three one. movement, socialism, anarchism, human rights. No, we have human rights. And your people... Are, are you guys seriously still letting children work? <laughs> Half time. Listen, I've been... Again, I can't get them out of power. <laughs> I've been stuck with these... Mm, I'm, I am really glad that I managed to uh, get children out of the workplace when I did because the industrialists really hate that. <laughs> <laughs> like, nobody apparently likes this law anymore. Nobody's gonna get rid of it because it would it torpedo their political career, but, you know. 
Can I if I if I ever improved my social security? Wait, that just that just plummets my economy even further down. But that would would that make I oh no. Ah uh, yeah, I mean a very bad spot. People actually want compulsory primary schools. I just don't have a party in power that actually wants to create this law. Hello, random agitator man. Oh boy, uh, we we need we need so much. Well, I'm increasing the taxes to very high, so we don't plummet into complete collapse. Will it help? Probably not. Will it destabilize the situation? Yes. How did our how did our roles reverse here? In terms of a functioning government, I don't know. <laughs> Why can I not stop bankrolling you uh, until that 1888? <laughs> uh, I literally have to wait three years for everything. And you're also bankrolling France too. Yes, which is not helpful. Which actually, you should probably hope that the bourgeoisie win because if they win, then you won't have to pay them anymore. <laughs> I mean, yes, they're... but they also don't like communism. Yeah, but honestly, you win some, you lose some. It's it's a it's it's you a lose some. some. You lose some. <laughs> you win some, I... you lose some. Sometimes you gotta you gotta you know chuck a European country out a window in order to br break an omelet or something. I don't know. That is not how that works. Some. Some American probably said that somewhere that was famous. A lot of American people said something that was really not as smart as they think they were. Well, I'll end up having to go to multiculturalism at some point. Or because of the fact... That... Hey, if I just click X, all of my problems go away! <laughs> What situations? I see no situations. Canada is going to pass me in power. Uh, no. Oh, whatever. I don't care about the prestige. Import... Import silk from somewhere, please? Do we have silk? Let's see. If this I put this man in power, that gets rid of the vanguardist. Who's... Honestly, worse. All right. What about what about rubber? When do we even use rubber? Oh, I can't grant him leadership because uh, I granted leadership to somebody else. We got two Democrats uh, and a nihilist, along with a jingleist. Valak. What? I've been stuck on them on September 8th for a while now. That's a problem. I'll even join back. <sighs> We're making such great progress in the year 1885. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were on 1885 when we were when we last streamed this game. <laughs> what do you mean we're on 1885? We've been 18, on 1885 five minutes ago. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, One of the greatest movies ever created. I still think we should beat up Mexico and make them pay for it. Listen, if I am stuck in Groundhog Day, we're not going to beat up anyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. 
we can use their money to pay off your debts. Val, again, if I cannot even go to war with them because I'm stuck in the same day loop constantly, <laughs> it's not worth thinking about it. <laughs> No, no, no. It's a solution. It's a solution because it's one less country the game has to process. Uh, that's not how that works. <laughs> just, just think about it. Just think about it. <laughs> I have already thought about it. It's a very I, have, I think like... I believe I have thought about it way more than you have. It's a very simple solution. It It'll is also a very wrong solution. It'll solve all our problems! It won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. Besides, Mexico has been militarizing for years. They're gonna go to war with us eventually for their territory back. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Their army is actually larger no, than yours. Won't. Yeah, but it's well, uh, worse equipped. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't really care about that. <laughs> that doesn't. That, that doesn't it, mean that it, it, it sees succeed. big number, and it 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 will decide to use big number with big stick. Also, their navy is bigger. What? Again, their navy is worse equipped. I mean, it's been a long while since we've seen what the Mexican military is. They could have upgraded by now. I doubt it. I mean, they still have gold fields, so... So do I. I'm still in a goddamn... I know, but once... September 15th. I've been stuck... Oh, no. <laughs> I Come know, but... Game. But hear me out. We invade Mexico and have them pay for your debt. Well, <laughs> let's first try if I actually get moving here. Oh my god, the timer is actually moving. Very slowly, because we're on speed one. <laughs> we might actually see the day-night cycle for once. <laughs> I have that turned off. For me, it was constantly night for some reason. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be running that when trying to stream this game. <laughs> I don't even know how you turn it off. I didn't know you, you go, could turn You go it into off. the options! You can do a lot of things in the options! You can do a lot of things to optimize the game in the options! Save every month? To quit? Under what is it? Show nudity. Yeah, how about we turn <laughs> that off? I didn't know that that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> is, mm, I am so happy that nothing like that has happened yet. <laughs> it's a good thing you haven't looked at Canada. I mean, not Canada, Africa. I mean, you can turn down the shadow quality. I probably should honestly turn down that. It, uh... Portrait multi sampling, it's just. Texture filtering, reflection, let's just put it to low, map objects, medium, mesh LODs, medium, animated characters, let's turn that off. Depth of field, bloom, why would I need bloom? Yeah, I don't know how to turn off the uh, texture quality, the day night cycle, I know I have it off though. Maybe it's a keybind. Let me look. I was just trying to troubleshoot the game. <laughs> we should have probably thought about that way earlier. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should have done some optimization before we before we started streaming this series. That probably would hey, have you, saved us some headaches. You were the one saying, let's go. <laughs> oh, please don't crash now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, look, we're in October. I don't know where we're at. I just changed a lot of things and the game's trying to <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> it's having a stroke. All right, well, once your game calms down, we can resume discussions on what we're going to do with Mexico. <laughs> I am not going to do anything with Mexico. Uh, listen, hear me out. I get... parts of Mexico. You get money. I like No. I think I've made myself clear. Each time we've gone to Mexico, for you, it was my people dying. My economy is currently just I mean, my people died as well. May, mainly mine died. My economy is currently collapsing. And do you really think that going to war would be great for an economy? It keeps the people's mind off of it. Or starts a revolution. One of the two. You never know. <laughs> Honestly, the revolution will probably help <laughs> <me> right now. <laughs> Who knows, maybe communist. maybe you'll get a communist one. <laughs> no, it won't be. Hey, we have unlocked investment. <laughs> it says you left the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can establish another company. Maybe that will help. It says you left the game. <laughs> I fall fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to restart the lobby. <laughs> I'm so happy, <laughs> happy as I can be. <laughs> that is that is the sound of a man who is losing his sanity. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ, I don't need portraits running on high. This, this is just, this is torture! Each time, 30, 30 minutes of this game, each time we play, 30 minutes of this game ends up just us being, just trying to have a stable <laughs> connection. Yeah. I did, I did spend a little bit of time going through and switching everything to lower quality settings. <laughs> so. I did so too. Hopefully, now that the session's back up, we can run at more than just one speed. But first, one speed. Oh, God, I just, I so hope that Stellaris will go better. Oh, Stellaris will definitely go better until we get into the late game, but you know. <laughs> yeah, but at the, the late very... game's always... At the very least, when we get into the Stellaris late game, it'll just be really <laughs> laggy and not tr constantly killing the server. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just gonna be slow. Very, very... Very slow. Very slow. Yeah, and we're gonna set the end game to late. So that way then we don't have what happened in our last private session. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The end game didn't change. <laughs> Yes, but we did have quite the technological hurdle to overcome. <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about. It was, uh... It's just a, uh hmm. Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could turn off the clouds. Is there a setting for clouds? No, there is no setting for clouds. What's an SSAO?
I don't know what it is, but I'm turning it off. I should know that, but I don't. <laughs> well, it says it SSA increases mode. performance if it's turned off, so I turned it off. <laughs> This is not a third time that I've loaded in. <laughs> oh, hey, Panama has reached the highest I've had it since I've owned it. 120,000. Let's establish the American Metalwork Combine. Alright, let's go. I wonder if I started a play against uh, Mexico, I could invite the Rio Grande in. <laughs> Promise them some territory. <laughs> build up the buffer state that will eventually exist between us because we cannot be trusted to have a border with each other. I don't know what you're on about. All right, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> one, one more time. You're taking it day by day. I should have stayed with station by two station. <laughs> I mean, I offered to let you just play that. I want to finish this. <laughs> Me too. This Me too, but... The last DLC comes out tomorrow. <laughs> and we're still stuck with this. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't think we're finishing this by tomorrow. <laughs> At the very least, it'll 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 give us some time to stare at it <laughs> from I a don't distance. Know, I'm playing it. Oh, I'm playing it. I thought we were gonna save playing it for the stream, so I mean, then we had straight up fresh. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot Canada's a weird rural Catholic bourgeoisie republic. Oh, anyway, How the war, the war between Nicole in the middle of Oklahoma. You'll be surprised what you can find in the middle of Oklahoma. Anyway, the bourgeoisie have uh, begun the war. Oh, it's all up to them yep, now. Yeah, don't do not do not zoom into France. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> don't look at France. Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> go, go back and look at the little choo-choos. Pretend that France doesn't only... exist. That is the only way you still save. Stay safe. Yes, <laughs> that is how you railroad. What? Oh, nothing. No, nothing. Oh, the Panama uh, railway is almost complete. Yeah, but we already know what you get. Well, we don't know what we get yet. Shut up. <laughs> Let me dream, okay? <laughs> I haven't had trains the entire game. You can't let me have this one moment. <laughs> No. <laughs> I 
I decided that you shan't. Well, the Catholic Church is on the rise again. Uh, cut back taxes. <laughs> Plunge the economy once again, gentlemen. <laughs> Wait, hold on. About cutting back on taxes is actually what? <laughs> I cut back on taxes to increase loyalists and decrease uh, radicals rapidly. The American state. State is Panama. Build Panama Canal. Workforce occupancies created to. Uh, the French Commune and the British have signed a peace t treaty, and Britain basically lost a lot of its colonies. Oh, damn. Australia is winning against the Australian Religious Revolt, though. They're even fighting them in New Zealand. <laughs> and it seems that the commune is actually winning against the bourgeoisie. Yeah, a bit of a surprise there, but you know, maybe maybe they'll turn this around. It's just it's just the start of the war. Maybe we'll see them win. What do I what do I lose if I get universal suffrage? Where is it? Census suffrage, universal suffrage. Uh, I lose authority. Uh, it, it does increase legitimacy based on votes and allows for women's suffrage law. I was surprised. Wait, why are... do we have an? Unex what? Hold on, what? What happened? You have an un unacceptable government now. Why? How? Could you could you mute your mic when you do that, please? Do what? Scratch yourself. Sh sorry. <laughs> that was really loud. Sorry. Great, I'm gonna have to enact universal suffrage. Can can I just tell you guys you win and we just do it? No. I already have a law in place. I can't just change things. I think we can go up in speed. All right. I'm currently tanking the economy to win back some, uh, some states from revolting against me. Just can't tanking the economy. Oh, hey, a mass migration of Finnish people are moving to Panama. <laughs> There's a 2% success rate. Uh... Did you guys finish building that railway line yet? No, we're still working on that. Oh, good. The revolution's been quelled. All right, thank God. All right, everybody, go back to what you were doing. We're trying to fix the economy again. <laughs> back to fixing the economy. <laughs> we are never going to get per capita taxation back, are we? Yeah, it's really hard to get in the first place, so starting with it is honestly a godsend, but... 
Yeah, you're probably never getting back there. I just, I, I just wanted the communists in charge. Why is this so hard? Why is this? Goddamn. Mother flapper. Still in power. This is like your fifth or sixth term. Just flap off. Have you gotten Die. the secret police yet? <laughs> no, why should I get the secret police? Because then you can assassinate him. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, what? And you're telling me that now? Well, I figured right. you were you were trying to be a communist country. I feel like you would have already figured that out by now. I, did, I thought, I I thought that was one of the reasons why you tried to go for... <laughs> I didn't know that that was a thing. Now, I don't know if it works against somebody that's as popular as he is, but, uh... We can good luck. And Burton's just dealing with a lot of peasant revolts. But anyway, nice to have a mass migration of Finnish people. Oh yeah, they're there. They're in pink. <laughs> Man, Panama is booming. Where is the secret police? That's on the home affairs, right? I can't get the secret police. Insurance is for the no. well, I'm glad to have at least more loyalists back in uh, government. Okay, the bourgeois, the uh, intelligista is happy enough to give us the uh, bonus to uh, our migration attraction. Nice. We're finally attracting people back to the country. After a mass uh, emigration of people after they came here and were like, wow, this is a really nice place, but we're gonna... Brazil, no. Brazil, what have you done? Brazil, what did you do? I cannot unsee Brazil's flag. Ah. Don't look at it. <laughs> hey dude, can I copy your homework? Sure, just change it up a little so nobody notices. <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the stars aren't even like aligned in any particular order. It's a U. It's a W. Cultural exclusion? Excuse me, no. Worker protection. Date atheism. Give, give, give me agitate, please, please. Why do I suddenly back. have so much more money? I'm concerned. Where did this money suddenly come from? Also, oh. infinite power. I like how the moment we built a railway in Panama, suddenly the economy started booming again. <laughs> Where, where is my electricity? Where is... That's on the development? No. No, no, never mind. Don't do that. Economy nearly collapsed. <laughs> hey, it's nice to have a train. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we achieved our one and major goal. We built a train. It literally goes from Cologne to Panama City. <laughs> We built a train, uh, Birch. We built a train. Congratulations. It literally goes to one place. And it's like 
uh, drives away from where it honestly this train is kind of useless but you know we're we're getting there we don't know how to train yet that well but you know we're, it's, we're, we're, so, it's <laughs> such a tiny track <laughs> we're working on it you know Should have built one in Costa Rica. Uh, th those ones are being worked on. Mm. I can't get rail or transportation for like anything. Because even though we now have railways, one railway, it doesn't produce enough yet. not a very uh, efficient job. Do I need a power plant? No. Wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Why am I the fourth strongest power? Oh, because France. Yeah, France and exploded. That makes, sense. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Half of their military has gone to the revolt. Our GDP is 69 million. Nice. Oh, the French commune is actually losing a lot of their conscripts in this war. <laughs> the bourgeoisie might manage to win if they manage to hold out long enough to wear down the uh, commune's, no. like, advantage. And also the fact that they are destroying the navy of the French commune. But the social democrats... Come on, come on, all, all of you European peasants. We need you to work a railway. A single railway that runs the shortest distance you have ever seen, but it's a railway. And that's a revolution. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you imploded. No, the, the, the rural folk just aren't happy with the fact that I am trying to get laissez-faire and they really want in to keep interventionalism. <sighs> well, we were we were fixed. We were about to at least pass the negative six hundred thousand mark on our economy. So much for that dream. <laughs> Building up a port in the Yucatan, though. Give them more jobs. A large number of Maltese people have begun migrating from Great Britain to San Salvador. Nice. More people. Yes. More. Oh no. Mm. 
All right, well, we'll go with that because honestly, I'd rather have the communist pissed at me than my uh, leader being uh, losing more popularity than he already does. He's an alcoholic, so he's not great at uh, negotiating with the people. To piss off every single party that is not that 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 is a non-marginalized group, and somehow this guy is still in power. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I just this is not how this works. This is <laughs> <laughs> he is literally the only guy running the country. I don't get it. I honestly don't know how he's managed this. Like, he has somehow managed to politically backstab the entirety of the country, and he's just like, yep, yeah, this, is, this is my life now. I, I, If I ever get out of power, they will probably ha charge me for treason, so I'm just gonna keep on keeping. <laughs> you know what? This, is, this can't get any worse, so I'm just gonna reform the government and put everybody in. Maybe maybe this will have some kind of effect. It's an unacceptable government because we have everybody that we can have in here, but hey, let's see where this goes. Unhappy, angry, unhappy. Listen, so sorry, but I'm stop. I'm going to stop boosting the trade unions. <laughs> I just can't get them into power. <sighs> Why is the game paused? Uh, you're out of sync. <laughs> How, how far did we make it? A year? <laughs> We're at April 21st. <laughs> yeah, listen, Val, I think this game has run its course. No, we will we will finish this game. No, I, I'm we, tired. I'm we, genuinely tired. We will finish this game. No, Val, I, I'm genuinely tired of this. This is not fun, nor is it interesting to watch. We have tried our best. This is as far as it goes. This is this is genuinely unplayable. Sometimes you have to let go, and this is one of those moments. All right. No, we can do it. <laughs> no, I'm no, I am no longer willing to do it. You're mean. I don't care if you think I'm mean or not. This is neither exciting to watch nor exciting to play. This is an RTS game, young pup. Just Set in the 1800s. Right well, I guess that's where we're calling it for today. We'll be back Thursday with Minecraft. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with <laughs> Brew Barons. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, and I'll be back tomorrow with probably either Battlestar Galactica or Helldivers, one of the two. I feel like playing Helldivers a lot. I kind of just want to get that out of my system for the week. <laughs> I, that is so true. that's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, you don't know what RTS means, young pup?
I mean, fair. Yeah, I get asked that question a lot, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it stands for real-time strategy. It's a genre of games that basically are strategy games, but in real time. More or less. But it's not it's turn based like game. it's exactly. it's not turn based like Civ. Or Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is another good example of a turn based. Though most people just refer to the entire genre as real time strategy. But anyway, we may or may not be back next week with more Victoria Three. Yeah. I do apologize for this. It's just Fair Victoria enough. Being young a difficult fair game. Enough. It is uh, it's it's a game. It, it's I I wish Paradox optimized things a bit better for the newer games. They just aren't as optimized as well. Yeah. But it was definitely fun while it lasted. We'll probably try again next week, and that'll probably be our last and final attempt to see how far we can get. I'd like to at least get to World War I. <laughs> we'll try. We'll do a test run over this weekend. Just I, the think, us. I think one of the reasons why it's getting so bad is because there's still so many countries, and it's late game. Yeah, but what do you want me to do about it? I mean, I'll probably just console command in and murder a bunch of the German states. <laughs> that might actually be a... I, we'll see. All right? Uh, we'll talk well, about we'll, this over the weekend. We'll talk about this and uh, basically we'll let chat decide on how we're going to split up the German states. Regardless, I wish you all the wonderful evening. And I'll be seeing you next time. Have a good night. And I will be finding you all a raid target. Because I didn't do that last time because of the fact that the thing crashed. I'm I'm trying to type I'm trying to type in raid for some reason into my search bar. That that is not what I wanted to do. I haven't raided this bean in a long time, so might as well. Slash read. Anyway, thank you for everybody that tuned in for today. Sorry that we only basically spent an hour getting to April 26, 1886. <laughs> but we tried. We tried so hard. <laughs> but uh yeah thank you once again for everybody tuning in today uh i'll probably be playing some hell divers after this so if anybody wants to join in on that feel free in the discord we have a discord please use the discord i have stuff in the discord that contributes to two of the streams that we're doing i'm doing one well one of them that i'm doing and one of them that i'm team doing with birch there the adorable butterfly. Go go look at his stuff. He does stuff. It's fun stuff. Go look at it. It's probably slightly better quality than my stuff. But anyway, hope you all have a nice rest of your day and enjoy the person you're gonna go off to go probably watch and be tormented by or something. I don't know. Go torment them or something. Do, do something entertaining. That was a ramble. Anyway, see you all next time.